Capricorn. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Val 33 Tarot and we're just going to jump in and see what's going on here, Capricorn, um, with you today, okay? This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Nodes. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Capricorn so right away there is someone here that is extremely on guard and defensive and aggressive towards you in a way where they don't really have to be that way and take it that far but because they're the ones doing something that's you know it's like whatever has happened for them to get to this point they did it to themselves and but they're playing the victim and kind of acting like it's your fault or you did something about it you still choose to be equal with them and others around you and be focused on your job career path business you know being just nice in general to people um, like literally minding your own business now because you're so equal in giving and sharing and you just do whatever it is that you're doing it's it's making this person kind of like in shock they don't know or understand like why they don't know what's going on they don't understand like they're so confused they're like indecisive maybe irritated i don't know well yeah with that card but there's something going on where they just can't seem to wrap their mind their head around it with you they're lost it's, it's just i don't know just does not make sense to them. Run out of options, confused. I don't know if they don't know how, why you're so nice or why you're sh you share things with people or why how you make your money. I don't know. But that is where they're just like, how the hell? you're making okay so you're choosing to make really huge changes for yourself in your life um in such a way where it's pretty obvious and clear and drastic to others around you especially to this person to where now they're guarded and once again they're guarded and defensive and so i don't know what's going on it's almost like you're changing your life let's just say in any way shape or form and you're changing it in a way that people or this person never thought you would now you have and now they don't know what to do i remember this from a long time ago you got your it's it's like i remember there was a title i did anyway it doesn't matter there's a reading where the capricorns got their shit together and now it made whoever they were dealing with be like oh shit now i gotta get my shit together because capricorn's actually doing the damn thing and it made them fight the capricorn it made that you know with that storyline i'm kind of getting the same one here but a little different something about you just you know let's just say you're like i'm quitting alcohol or i'm breaking up or i'm gonna go on a one year long europe trip to whatever right you're just gonna do something for you that is very life-changing and altering um that's where they get defensive and guarded it's like their own environment life for them gets a little hostile things get crazy but they don't want to make any plans you know it's like they're so guarded and on edge but they've done it to themselves somehow but they don't want to really take care of what it takes to fix whatever that they're doing with themselves in their life now this is also someone that's not willing to put up boundaries either with anyone or respect themselves or respect people so you know Makes sense why they're feeling all over the place here. Mm -hmm. Well, because they're in that energy here, it looks like, you know, it's making them do a few things here. One, they have extreme lust for you and they're trying to find a way to get to you and be deceptive with you and towards you. Two, they're not happy with you. A lot of anger and aggression and having to move quick or and just feeling stuck and no passion. Well, them being that way, whichever one it is, now makes them want to get in a big fight with you. So argument, fighting, bullying, maybe they want to bully you. They can't stand you. They try to get people to say something to you, whatever it is. You've known this. So it's like you just kind of sit there and take the hits. 
but it's almost because it goes with it. So let's just say, you know, because clearly you are focused at work with your job, with money and finances or being someone who's very productive. When you're in that energy is when they try to start some problems here. You depressingly realize and are aware and you just deal with it. You're kind of like, well, it comes with it. It's kind of like, you know, it comes with the job, right? If there's something annoying that happens with your job, but you know, it's just what it is. It is what it is. That's how you're looking at this person. You're like, well, you're angry, you're hurt, you're shouting, you're fighting, you're freaking out, you're throwing a tantrum and you're trying to take it out on me because you hate your life and you hate yourself. Okay, go figure. What am I supposed to do about that? You know, and for others of you, maybe you were close to them and it's just one of those things where it sucks, but it used to hurt before, you know, um, recently. Now I feel like for you, it doesn't hurt as much what's going on. It's just something that you realize and see from someone else. And you know how they are that you, you're kind of like, that's like a drunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're going to fight a drunk? Probably not. <laughs> because they're not going to make any sense. You know that it's going to be more of a mess if you even try to stop anything with them. You just kind of put your hands up and back away and go, you know, I, I can't help you. You see what I'm saying? And that's the energy I see you have towards this person. And then you just turn around and you're like, okay, well, back to work. I got to go to work. I got to do my job. I got to go do that. I got to clean. I got to vacuum. I got to, I got to go. You're back to just being productive and creative. It's literally, it's like them screaming and fighting. And then you're like, well, that was depressing. And they're like, eh, anyway, time to do me. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but okay. And so while you're being focused and working and doing what is you need to do for yourself here, you have understood the perspective of all of this. You know what goes on with this person in the situation. Um, you know, you're at peace with yourself about it and the situation in a, as a whole. And because you are at peace, that's why they're pissed off and they want to be deceptive and aggressive towards you and start some problems here, which is why you hide and go away and be mysterious and quiet and hidden. You keep all your amazing things to yourself. You, you know what I mean? Because you understand this person's aware they're doing something or trying to do something here towards you. Mm hmm and so because you ended up doing something very drastic and beautiful and crazy for you and life changing, this is where you basically pulled their demon out. Literally, I might even call, oh, I don't want to freak you out, but you, that might be your title. You literally pulled their demon out, <laughs> but not in like the exorcism way, you know, like where like, luckily the person gets saved or something. Sadly, no, the demon's still with them <laughs> in, in this, in this, in this situation. Okay. Um, Actually, now that speaking of demons, now that I'm looking at the combination, if you're wondering, and this is only for paranormal people or people who know about demons and spirits and entities and atta demonic attachments, this person actually does have a demonic attachment just based on the layout of the cards. And I didn't notice that until now. So it makes sense. And I don't know if they're in a paranormal occult type of spiritual stuff. And only, only you know that they have to be in that for you to be like, oh. Then again, though, they don't have to be, you don't have to be in anything to have a demonic attachment. I'm going on a different tangent. I digress. All I'm saying is, for some of you, intuitively, if you're wondering, do they have one? Yes. Number two, the rest of you, you do something shocking and crazy for you in an amazing way. This is where the demon comes out. <laughs> you know, their toxicity, whoever they, whatever they're doing, they choose to get worse. That's what I'm saying. It's like you tell them, hey, have one drink, you know, do it in moderation. They're like, I'm about to have a whole bottle and OD. You see what I'm saying? It's like you tell them one thing and they're going to take it the whole five miles. Whatever's going on, they're going to stay destructive. They're going to stay toxic, addictive, you know, whatever this is. And it's making them, there's a crutch here. They're hanging on to something or someone as a crutch. It makes them feel like shit. It doesn't work. It doesn't help them. They're irritated. They're impatient. They don't know what to do, where to go. I'm honestly, seriously starting to think you're either dealing with someone in the middle of withdrawals or they're battling their addictions literally or they're literally fighting possession. I'm, I just got to say it. They're literally fighting a demon trying to get inside their <laughs> fight more for the damn soul. Three of those things 
I'm not trying to scare anyone, but this is literally what I'm seeing here. It's either of those three things. And the thing is, is like, because it gets worse. They spiral, they leave the reading so confused, so irritated, so lost, so scared, so angry, so impatient, so typical of what it sounds like someone who's on something that they're using and or if they're trying to withdraw and cleanse from all that stuff all over the place. You know what I mean? Or just cuckoo for no reason. It's like, there's only a few reasons. It's gotta be trauma, drugs, alcohol. And if it's not those things, then we gotta start looking at <laughs> what's going on in the on the other side of the realm here of the demons and angels and stuff, okay? So they leave it a freaking mess for themselves. All because you do something amazing for you. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. Thank you. Bye.